Hello everyone, I'm Koki from Tech Critter and today we have a very special guest. This is Ying Zhe, a very prominent Malaysian cosplayer and also streamer. Hello everyone, it's Ying Zhe here. Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yes, and today we have something special here. As you can see, we've prepared a test bench and we want to ask you Mm -hmm. What kind of PC that you are using at home? What kind this? of PC? So recently this year, in uh, I think January, or is it February, I forgot. So I, I had my friend build a PC for me. Because mm -hmm. you know I'm a, I'm a tech noob, so I have my friend who's good in it. Uh, so he built a PC for me. I think it's around 10,000 ringgit. Mm -hmm. you get that that yeah. build cost. So it's a RGB, very flashy, very shiny build. Yeah. And, uh, Yes, what do you want to know about my view? I want to know about your storage options. My storage? Uh, I think mm. it's using Samsung. Uh. Samsung? Uh. Uh. Because um, I know streamers nowadays, mm. they have a lot of live streams that they stream and also record at the same time. Uh, yes, correct. So mm -hmm. now, I recently, I record my streams because uh, I stream for 4 hours per night. Ooh. Oh, 4 hours per night. So means the file will be super big yeah, yeah, for the yeah. highlights. Mm. 4 hours. Mm. So... Approximately how big are the file size? Not sure. I'm not sure. Not sure. Mm. <laughs> okay, so I presume you just let it copy, then go mm, sleep. Then I pass to my video editor. Ding. Video editor. <laughs> and um, yeah, speaking of video editing, right? Mm. Um, I'm pretty sure you need a very fast storage for you to edit smoothly. Mm. And that is why we are here today to tell you more about storage in general. I'm ready. Sufu. You are the Sufu. Okay, <laughs> I'm here to learn from okay. you today. So mm. generally, we have five common types of storage options. Oh really? There's yeah. so many? Yes. Okay. So we will just start with the common protocol first. So there are two types of commonly found protocols these days. Mm -hmm. There is SATA tree, which is found in most hard disks mm -hmm. these days. And then there's also NVMe. All this sounds very new and confusing to me. <laughs> okay, there is more to come. Mm -hmm. Second thing to consider is the form factor. So there are actually three form factors mm -hmm. for storage options. We have the commonly found hard disk, three and a half inch. As you can see, this one is very... It is very big and yeah. bulky, okay. And also mm -hmm. highest capacity. Mm -hmm. Then we have two and a half inch. This mm -hmm. one is smaller, mostly found in laptops, available in SSD or hard disk as well. So it's slimmer like. Slim, mm -hmm. yes. Alright. Okay, and then here we have M.2 Okay, this is very small Smallest mm -hmm. of them all um, This is the most commonly found 2280 mm -hmm. Because 22mm and 80 Alright, they name it based on the length Yes, and the width. yes, mm -hmm. length and width So, commonly found is only 5 options mm -hmm. So you have this one, confirmed hard disk, 3.5 mm -hmm. inch Then this one you have SATA 3 SSD or hard disk mm -hmm. Then this one you have SATA 3 SSD or NVMe SSD. So these are the five commonly found combinations of protocol and form factor. Okay. Okay. Confusing okay. enough. I try. I try to put in my small brain. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now we have this test bench set up. Okay. I know it's it very looks, unique looking. Yeah. <laughs> very bizarre. Very ghetto-ish. It's very naked. <laughs> yes, that's the purpose okay. of test bench. Okay. So right here we have a Core i7 9700K. Octua cooler, gigabyte motherboard, and also graphic card, even though it doesn't matter here. <laughs> and we have this WD Black right. 6TB attached. Mm -hmm. This is one of the fastest hard disks available in the market. Mm -hmm. And I want you to transfer this 20 gigabyte file into that hard disk. Okay. So now my D drive is that hard disk. Mm -hmm. So just drag the dummy file from the desktop to the hard disk. Alright. Like this? Yes. And then you can see the speed instantly drop to this. It's, it looks like it's taking very long. Yeah, it is taking very long. And then as you can see here, Windows mm. 10 is scamming you. They say 30 seconds but confirm it will take more <laughs> Windows than 30 10 seconds. is scamming you. Mm -hmm. It's definitely more than 30 seconds. Now it's about 1 minute and 30 seconds. <laughs> That's why I say Windows scammer. Okay. So okay, now we know the speed is around the fastest that I've seen. Mm -hmm. It's about 200 megabytes per second but stabilized at around 170. Mm -hmm. So we will wait for a while. 
And All right. in the meantime, we have to talk a bit on the other storage that we're using. Mm -hmm. Second one will be this 2.5 inch SSD. Yeah. It's running on SATA 3. Um, oh, it has a design on it. Yeah, this one is from another brand called Fidis. It's mm -hmm. actually from Penang. Oh, really? But, okay. It's Malaysian made. Um, Malaysian brand. Ah. Okay. So this one is running on SATA 3. The speed is theoretically what you will see is about 500 megabytes per second. Ah. All right. And then as for NVMe, that one is the fastest, which I want you to experience the difference between all three. And there's still about 30 seconds. Now <laughs> this is the real 30 seconds. The real 30 seconds, all right. And it's still going. 25 seconds. You know what? We just sit here awkward and then we fast forward the video. Ah. This is taking too long. This is taking too long. <laughs> mm. So we have waited for a very long time for mm -hmm. the hard disk to finish transfer 20 gig file. And now we have switched to a SATA 3 SSD. Mm -hmm. Di persilakan do Di the same persilakan. thing. Di persilakan, okay. Yep. Let's go. Click this. Yep. And put this file over here. Yep. And just replace. So oh, now we... okay. Mm. This is evidently much faster. It's a lot faster. Mm -hmm. It's more than twice faster. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, as I've mentioned just now, it's nearly 500 megabytes per second. Mm. Now we're stabilizing at 488, mm. which I would say is still a lot faster, like 25, 20 seconds. Mm. We can actually wait for it to finish without awkward silence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just now that one, we, we, we had to look for something to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the next one, yes. you, you don't have even nothing have to time. say. Yes, no <laughs> okay. time to finish talking. <laughs> so, okay. okay, just a bit more faster. And we are done. Yes, you need to give it words of encouragement. Uh, words so, of encouragement. <laughs> so, okay, this one's done. Alright. Now we are going to move on to the last one, mm -hmm. which uh, I want you to install it. Alright, teach me. Just align, push. Okay. Yes, that's the click. And then now you just push it down a bit, mm -hmm. align with the screw hole, and screw it in. I feel like I have become 100 times smarter. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, that's All how right. we install M.2. No Ooh. cables required. And there's also one of the main benefits of M.2 because mm. you can see we have a lot of cables mm. needed for this hard yeah, disk. Hard disk right? Yeah, so for M.2, mm. it's very fast and you, all you need is just plug it in mm. and one screw. Alright. Come deep. So we just put it up. So now we, you have mm -hmm. installed the M.2 I have installed? SSD. Yes! <laughs> and yeah, it's very easy to install, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So now, I want you to do by the same thing, mm -hmm. copy the 20 gig file inside. Okay, now let's see how powerful this is compared to the other two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once again, replace the file. Replace the file. Are you ready for the magic? Yes. yes. Remember, right. we won't have time to talk on this oh, side. Okay. Mm. <laughs> we have time to talk though. Not much, you only have 10 seconds. You can oh. see the speed is very well maintained. Oh, yeah. Above 1 gigabyte per second. It's much faster than the previous one by how many times? Uh, more than twice. Mm. So compared to the hard disk, it's nearly 10 times faster. Okay. So that is very very impressive. Mm -hmm. And now, I want you to play some games. Play some games, yeah. okay. So right. we will try Assassin's Creed Unity. Mm -hmm. Firstly, um, we will just continue using this hard disk. This SSD first. Okay. The, the whole idea is just let you mm. click continue, mm. experience the loading time. Alright. Okay, so now we have Assassin's Creed mm -hmm. here. I want you to try this game because it it has a bit of a problem with mm -hmm. the you know it's famous, it's famous for having having a really long uh, loading time for yes. the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I just want you to press any key here. Press any key. But then you clicked. Okay lah, can lah. <laughs> Okay. okay, so the whole idea is I want you to press continue press and continue. then in your mind you count how long it took to load the game. That's it. All right. Just click continue. Click continue. Mm. Once again, we are running in mm -hmm. SSD mm -hmm. and uh, it will take quite a while. Even though with NVMe SSD, mm -hmm. this game is very not optimized. Very right, cheap, quite fast. Quite fast, I would mm. say. So, yeah, you're in the game and you can start moving. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice graphic. Ah! Alright, nice game. Okay. Mm -hmm. You wanna continue at this? Yeah, alright. Okay, yeah? Mm. 
Yes. Okay, so now we have rebooted the game, but mm-hmm. then we have swapped out the NVMe SSD for the WD Black 6TB. Right. And once again, Assassin's Creed Unity. Press any key. Card. Yes. This time I'll press any key. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Continue. continue. And then now we wait. Okay. I don't know how long. Is this gonna take 10 years? Probably not 10 years, uh, but 10 times longer, good. Okay. So now. Yeah. Awkward silence time. Awkward silence begins. Imagine if you're sitting in your room for so long, uh, then you start to play your phone. Uh. Then you scroll Facebook. Alright. Oh, we're in. Okay. Yeah, the Basila can jump around and explore the Notre Dame. This game is set in the French Revolution time, mm. so you will see a lot of people getting their heads chopped off. Will out. I die? Uh, I know. Nearly did. Nice. Not yet. Oh, I'll just kill you. Oh, oh. Why you push me? Why la? you kill him? I don't know lah. <laughs> Why I kill him? Kill, kill, kill. I'm just kill. Yeah. Oh no, you got killed. Huh? Yeah. Just one, one yeah. step you die. Jump down from building lah. Oh. Get hurt already. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So now we have to wait for loading again. Yeah. Oh. This so is the problem with hard disk. Okay. So for games like this, right, mm. when you die once, they actually have to reload the whole thing mm. and it takes forever. Alright. So imagine uh, if you can go 10 times faster loading speed and uh, you can get back really, really fast. That is why we should get NVMe SSD. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've gone through all three mm. types of storage. So tell me, what have you learned today? Yeah, so I've learned today that there are different sizes. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's the super big and bulky one, and then there's a medium size. This one you say it's for laptop. Yeah. Ding! Okay, and yeah. then there's a smaller size, which is this one. It doesn't require cable and mm-hmm. it's very simple to install. Even for noob person like me, that is, doesn't know anything about tech, this is pretty easy to install and it's fast yeah. and it's affordable. Yes, affordable. Mm-hmm. Actually, for only RM? 839. 839. There's also one more tip for you. Mm, all right. uh, in most laptops these days, la, mm. you can actually find these two. Mm-hmm. So, for example, if you are using an Asus laptop, mm-hmm. most of them will have one 2.5 inch mm-hmm. and also one M.2. Oh. So, you can get best of both worlds. La. Ah, so, you can put two of these? Yes. Oh, if so you, you can want put to. together? Can, no problem. Oh, that's a good tip. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, I think that's pretty much it for our video today. Mm-hmm. I hope you really learned something valuable today. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks so much mm-hmm. for coming here and uh, do subscribe for more and check out Yingzi. I will link everything down in the description below and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Mm-hmm. I'll see you next time. Bye bye!